All right, so today I'm out here in the mountains of Pennsylvania. I'm with Nate, and we're gonna be finding some salamanders. It's about 40 degrees out here with a good chance of rain. So pretty good salamander conditions. Let's see what we can find. The first spot we're searching today is this rocky area behind a reservoir. Although it's not very natural, the wildlife seems to like it. Oh, look at that. No way. I said I would be really surprised to see a snake today. Oh, wow. And sure enough, there it is. This is the most common type of snake around here, the northern ringneck snake, and it's a little baby. Ringneck snakes are one of the top predators of salamanders, so this was a good sign that we were on the right track. Here's Nate with his lifer ringneck snake. That is awesome. And we'll just let it go as usual. We don't want to bother the wildlife too much. All right, here goes the ringneck snake. First find of the day. Oh, nobody. Nothing. Look, there's a redback. All right, under this rock, I just flipped a little redback salamander. A very common species around here. I expect to see a lot of these guys today. Here's another look at this redback salamander. We'll just put him right back, as always. Nothing. I already know what's under this rock because I just flipped it. That is a red salamander. Oh, look at God. that. Number one target already found. Yeah. All right, here's another look at this red salamander. Number one target of the day. Look at that. The red salamander is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful salamanders found here in the United States. However, their color does fade with age, as can be seen here. Here's another look at the red salamander. Look at the size of this guy, way bigger than that redback, and one of the best finds that we could get here. That is so awesome. All right, so now we're in this more wooded setting and we're gonna be walking along this creek for a while here with lots of rocks to flip. So hopefully we'll find some more salamanders. Here's a redback salamander, another one. Look at that guy, nice color on this one. Nothing. Oh, there's a redback. There he is. Redback salamander, third one of the day. I'll just let him go. All right, here's another redback. There he goes, just flipped him under this rock. We'll just leave him alone. One thing I'd like to mention is the stunning scenery on this hike. Oh, a waterfall. Dude, isn't that nice? Part of what makes this area so nice are these plants, which are called rhododendrons. These like to grow in deep valleys like this, where there's less sunlight and a lot of moisture. And those happen to be the perfect conditions for salamanders. I just flipped the fifth redback of the day. These guys are very common around here. All right, I put his rock back and I'll just let him go. Just flipped red back number six. Look at that guy. Nothing. Oh, there's a red back number seven, right? Yeah. Here, I'll get us a closer look at that. Here's the red back Nate just flipped. Little guy. Very cool. You will just move him out of the way, put the rock back so we don't squish him. There he goes. All right, so as you can see, a lot of finding salamanders really comes down to flipping rocks. Flip as many rocks as you can, and eventually you'll get lucky and find something cool. Oh, there's a red back. Is that number eight? I think it might be. There he is. Nothing. All right, I just flipped this red back. This is number nine, I believe. So pretty cool. Oh, there's another red back. That's number 10. Very cool. Nice colors on that guy. Enough. Oh, there's a red back. Look at the color on that guy. There he is. This is 11. I'll just let him go, as always. Oh, number 12. Look at that guy. Lots of these redbacks. I found over 100 in a day before at this spot. Probably won't find that many today, but there certainly are a lot of them. Oh, here we go. This is pretty cool. So this is another redback, but this is the, they call it the lead variation. It doesn't have that characteristic orangish red back. Here's a closer look at this lead variation red back. So this guy is pretty much just plain black. It's important to know these different variations so you can properly identify them. Often. Oh, here we go. There's a little two-line right there. Here's a closer look at this little two-line salamander. As you can see, these guys have a little bit more yellowish coloration on them, unlike those redbacks. All right, it's starting to get a little late, so we're heading back to the car. 
uh, but we definitely had a good day of salamander hunting today. Well, I hope you learned something new about salamanders today. If you want to see more wildlife content like this, make sure you check out my channel. Thanks for watching.